Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sharae. If you're new, I want to thank everyone from joining in and watching my videos. I'm just overly excited because um, I've had a few people join my YouTube family and I'm almost at 200 subscribers. So I'm very excited about that. That's a big goal for me being that I just got a one here. So I'm, I'm very happy and grateful and I thank every one of you. Also, I wanted to say, happy women's month so proud of us you know we're we're doing it you know in all kinds of ways so i just wanted to acknowledge that but um, in today's video i want to create some type of look that's kind of like minimal because i have my kids and they like to touch everything so i removed everything off of my dining room table and so i purchased a rug from ikea which I've been looking for a while for one. So I'm gonna try to include that to see if that looks right. And I'm gonna see how it with it. I previously had in a black cowhide rug under here for a while, but since we've gotten our floors done with the darker tone porcelain tile, I wanted to balance the weight of the area with the lighter tone rug. Um, you can also layer your rugs too, just to get um, a different type of look. Um, I had it layered too, which is, it, it brings a different type of element to your area. But I purchased this rug from Ikea and I will link that item below. But I really love the detail and I'm telling you the camera and the online picture, it really doesn't do any justice. This is a woven flat pile area rug and it's pretty large, I think. And I actually have a few of these area rugs around the house because it goes very well with my color palette. It's listed at such a great price that I would run out and purchase another if it, if the kids ruined it with their spills or anything. And it's definitely budget friendly because I, of course I wouldn't have bought a bunch of them if it wasn't. I'm going to need some muscles to help me move this table. My husband doesn't know it yet, or maybe he does since he knows me so well. But I'm pretty sure this table is going to get moved back and forth a few times before I get it back how I want it. We need to get the seat cushions on our nook redone, but for now I just covered it with gray fabric. I think I may try to tackle that myself, but we'll see. Please comment below and tell me what do you think would be a great color or type of fabric that's kid friendly. If I'm indecisive on how I want to decorate an area, sometimes I accessorize my surrounding space first with the items I know I want to use. After that, I work off that. One item may inspire you and from there, your creative juices may start flowing in. At least for me, that is the case. I'm accessorizing with my pillows, rug, and throw blanket first because I'm unsure what look I'm going for on the table. Sometimes you have to step back and look at your design. You may have to scale back and then remove some items or change them around. You don't want your space to look cluttered or overly designed. I know I'm guilty of that at times. One trick that I use for myself is once I put my decor in a place, I remove one thing. I try to make sure everything is cohesive and works well in the entire space together. When I design my space, I tend to place things where I like it and then look at it for a few days. If I like it, I will keep things as is. If not, I go back to the drawing board and start all over with an empty space. This is the look that I decided on to go in my breakfast nook table. Um, it's very minimal, but it also has a pop of color and texture. Sometimes you just shop your home and use what you have. Please let me know how you like the final look. And thank you so, so much for coming along and watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment, and hit that notification button. And have a blessed day. Bye-bye.